cosmids, phasmids and other advanced vectors. Cosmids are the hybrid plasmids that contain the cos site from the lambda phages. If you remember cos site, it is a 12 nucleotide unpaired bases at the 5 prime end of the lambda genome. When lambda genome inserts its DNA into the host organism by using these cos sites, it can assume the circular uh, form. So, cosmid vectors, actually they are the plasmids that contain these cos sites from the uh, lambda phages. So, because of this reason, these hybrid plasmids, they are called as uh, cosmids. If these cosmids, they are provided with in vitro packaging system, then they can efficiently package the recombinant cosmids uh, into head of the phage particles. Cosmic vectors, when we compare it with other uh, cloning vehicles like with the plasmids or the lambda genome or the lambda, lambda vector, uh, then we can say that comparatively it can clone larger fragments of the DNA. For example, if cosmid, it is having the size of around uh, 5 kilobase pairs, uh, it can clone around 45 kilobase of the foreign DNA. Whereas on the other hand, plasmids or even the lambda phages especially that can clone 23 kilobase of DNA fragment. The fragment size that can clone in case of cosmid vector, it is comparatively uh, larger. When recombinant cosmids, they are produced then the in vitro packaging system it is provided. If you remember, uh, it is composed of uh, bacterial crude extracts that provide all the essential proteins for the packaging uh, of the foreign DNA into the phage head particles. Once it is packaged into the phage head particles, then it can be used to effectively uh, infect suitable uh, host organisms like the E. coli. It can insert its genomic DNA which is now a recombinant cosmid after injection. Now the recombinant cosmid by using the cosite it can assume the circular form. So this is one of the advantage of the cosmid vector that the transformation of the host organism it is comparatively efficient and larger DNA fragments uh, can be cloned. If we have a look on the genetic map of the cosmic vector, as we have already discussed that it contains cos site from the lambda genome and of course it will also contain some selectable markers uh, in the form of antibiotic resistance and restriction site for a particular uh, restriction enzyme uh, so that we can insert larger DNA fragments of foreign origin. This diagram shows the simple cloning scheme by using a cosmid vector. If we have a look on the genetic map of the cosmid vector, then it contains a selectable marker which is a gene for ampicillin resistance. And on the other hand, it also contains restriction site for appropriate restriction enzyme that can be used to insert foreign DNA at this location and of course cause site from the lambda genome here. So it can be digested with restriction enzyme and it can assume the linear form here. On the other hand, the foreign DNA, it can also be digested with appropriate restriction enzyme and then they are mixed together in the presence of DNA ligase so that in the presence of high DNA concentration they can join together. So they are mixed here so that between the cos site of the cosmid comparatively larger fragments of DNA that may be up to 37 to 52 kilobases they can be inserted into the cosmid vector. Next, when foreign DNA it is inserted into the cosmid vector, then this recombinant cosmid vector 
in the presence of in vitro packaging system it can be enclosed within the phage head now this is ready to infect a suitable host organism so after following the process of adsorption and injection into the host organism the recombinant host organisms they are selected on the basis of ampicillin resistant marker and keep in mind after injection into the suitable host organism the cosmate will assume the circular form as you observed in case of lambda genome as i told you that cosmin vectors they have certain advantages one of the advantage is that it can be used to clone comparatively larger dna fragments so as compared to plasmid or lambda genomes the size of the genomic library will be very small that is easy to screen to find our gene of interest genomic libraries jo hain ye ek organism ka jo pura genomic makeup hai usko represent karti hai for example agar जो ऑर्गेनिज्म है उसका जो जीनोमिक डीएनए है उसके फ्रेगमेंट स्मॉल हैं तो जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरी का जो साइज है वो भी ज़्यादा होगा और उसकी स्क्रीनिंग के लिए ज़्यादा एफर्ट और टाइम रिक्वायर होगा सो दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द एडवांटेज दैट इन केस ऑफ कॉस्मिट बिकॉज लार्जर डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट्स कैन बी क्लोन्ड सो द साइज ऑफ द जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरी Uh, it is, it will be very small and i told you that genomic library it represents the whole genomic makeup of a particular organism especially if we have targeted eukaryotic organism to find our gene of interest then it can be digested with a particular restriction enzyme for shorter period of time and you can call it as a partial digestion so that larger dna fragments they are produced so size of the genomic library will be small and among a mixture of fragments lesser time is required for screening so this is one of the advantage of the use of cosmit vector on the other hand there are certain limitations the limitations are that because the larger fragments are there if they contain uh, same cohesivants then they can join together so in this case those fragments of dna that are not contiguous contiguous means that that are not close with each other naturally they will also align with each uh, with uh, with each other that is not suitable for cloning procedure so this difficulty it can be overcome by treating the genomic dna uh, with alkaline phosphatase if you remember that can remove the 5 prime phosphate and uh, on the other hand if this problem it is solved then there is another problem that vector to vector ligation is there that can break after subsequent transformation such difficulties uh, have been overcome by the use of modified cosmit vectors